everyone. We are here at the Tanana River where the tripod is and we are going to take a look at what is happening out here on the river and around the river and yeah all the exciting stuff. You can see there is a huge pool of water right here on the riverbank. Stuff is melting. You can definitely hear water trickling around. I checked the temperature on my way out here and it was 47 degrees. So yeah, it feels great out here. Nice 47 degrees. We should have a lot of melting going on today. So um, first of all, the biggest question that we have been getting i there there have been a lot of a lot of questions coming through our <laughs> our messages lately and uh the biggest question has been can i still play even if i'm not in alaska the second biggest question has been where can i get tickets and the the answer to both of those is there is a list of vendors on the Ninana AK Ice Classic dot com website. However, the ticket sales are closed for the season. Tickets always close on April 5th. So unfortunately, anyone who's still asking has missed the boat. There are no more ticket sales going on for this year, but you can absolutely chime in for next year and mark it on your calendars when ticket sales start, which is in February. Ticket sales go on from February to April 5th. And that is the window where you can buy Ice Classic tickets and send them in. Um, the le the uh, follow-up question to that is, can I play if I'm not in Alaska? And the answer is absolutely yes. Yes, everyone can play no matter where you live. Um, you just have to, yep, all around the world. <laughs> and you just have to send in a list of your guesses with the, with the payment, $3 a ticket, to the Ninana Ice Classic office. Now, just a reminder, let me flip the camera around here. <laughs> Is it going to flip? Okay. Just a reminder, we are not the official Ice Classic representatives in any way, shape, or form. We are simply fans, and we just run the fan page for fun. Sorry, there's a, a dog around here. Hey, no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> it's okay. Don't freak out. <laughs> Stray dog right now. Um, so we don't speak officially for the Ice Classic at all. Every bit of official information comes from their website, which is ninanaakiceclassic.com. That's, that's where you can find all of the official information, including the ice thickness, the ice measurements, where the tickets are sold, how to buy a ticket, how to submit your guesses. All of that information is on that website. So uh, we definitely do our best to get people um, correct information, but that is where all of the official source comes from, is from that website. Um, they also have their, um, their own YouTube channel up and running now as well, so that's really exciting. You can get official updates directly from the Ninana Ice Classic too. And so um, that so far is the the answers to those questions it can all be found on the website and everyone can play but ticket sales are closed for the season already so everyone who has their guesses in already your tickets are in the running and everyone else you get to play next year put it on your calendar <laughs> okay so let's go back to the tripod so um Oh, cute! Aww, James just made his own little tripod out of wax sticks. <laughs> oh, that's adorable, James. Okay, so you can see I've got my Alaskan Extra Tough boots on. These are like a must-have in Alaska. 
<laughs> with all of the breakup melting going on. So out here, you can see there is some rotting ice. There is no open water that I can see yet. No open water, but there are definitely water puddles out there. And it's really good signs when you can see water pooling up because that means the ice is thinning, everything's melting, it's getting softer and softer, and we call that rotting ice. So you can also see that the flags are up. That was a really exciting thing to see um, just over two weeks ago, the flags went up. So they are hooked up to the ice, uh, to the ice classic tower so far however the clock is not hooked up yet and i'll tell you why rebecca just coached me through this <laughs> a few minutes ago so you can see right here that there is a, a cord going from the tower to the clock shack but it's not hooked up to the clock yet and you can see why because the clock is not yet running. So let's go ahead and look into the, the clock room. So here's the clock. This is last year's Ice Classic time. And so it's definitely not running. It's not hooked up. Um, you can see inside, oh, maybe, I don't know if you can see that in there. Um, the cords are just open. They're not hooked up yet. So you can tell when the clock tower is hooked up when it's telling the accurate time and when there is a watchman here 24 7. once the clock is hooked up they have someone on watch all day every day all hours of the day and night to make sure that everything is um tamper tamper free so there's no one messing around with stuff make sure the game is all good and honest and nothing crazy happens so we'll be watching over the next few days or maybe in a week or so i don't know um when they're gonna hook it up but that will be the next exciting thing that happens to see when the clock tower gets hooked up um another exciting thing there um so this is um this is the train depot, which is at the very end of our main stretch of Ninana. You can't see the main road because it's behind these buildings, but this is the end of A Street. A Street goes down here, and down there we have the Civic Center, which is the main um, gathering place of the community. And there were lots of cars out there when I drove past, and that means that they are counting the tickets. They're, um, every year they have, they hire local people from our community and around the community that come and count and record the tickets by hand. It is all done. Every single ticket is looked at and recorded and checked by hand so that it's a hundred percent accurate and it's checked and rechecked and checked again and it is a really really cool process i got to do that last year for my first time and it was super fun it definitely gave me a big insight into everything that goes into the ice classic and how much they really take a lot of care for getting all the guesses accurate and so the counting is going on. It's all being done by hand. It's active right now. There's lots of people at the Civic Center going to help out with that. And that is one of the um, one of the biggest job opportunities in our community every spring. So it gets people excited. It's a fun thing to stay engaged in and it helps people out. So let's see. Nancy says, it looks like a beautiful day there too. Yes, it is gorgeous today beautiful temperature it's 47 degrees sunshiny crystal bl crystal clear blue skies and you can hear the water melt melting and yeah it feels great out here katrina says hi from fairbanks it's a gorgeous day uh-huh sure is Lulu says, almost like waiting for a baby to be born. Yes, absolutely. That is the excitement and the anticipation. 
you know it's going to happen. You just never know when. And that makes it really, really fun. So let's see. It, oh, my comments are not behaving again. Anyway. So, yeah. That's what's going on out here. The, the flags are hooked up, but the clock tower is not running yet. And we will see what time... We'll, we'll keep watching for when that clock tower gets hooked up. So, does anyone have any burning questions about the Ice Classic? <laughs> I know there's so many, so many factors that go into it. So now's the question to get some questions asked. Uh, yeah, some questions asked and answered if you want to. And while I see if any any questions are coming in, I'll tell you a little bit more about what I see. So... I know Rebecca pointed out just um, a couple days ago, this right here is the N. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it is a white N on the hill. It stands for Ninana, woot woot. And when that gets uncovered, you can tell that it's really, you know, melting. So that's really exciting. You can see a lot of rock and dirt is exposed. So... That means a lot of melting is going on. The snow is slowly, um, or maybe quickly at this point, <laughs> dissolving. And there's a lot of dark patches throughout the river. That means the river is getting softer. It's rotting. And any of these patches over time can turn into open water like that one out there it's not open water yet but it sure could easily turn into open water so those are the some of the those are some of the signs that we look for as we watch the river soften up now let's see i'm gonna go like out onto the actual river's edge let's see Okay, yeah, so I don't see any, I don't see any open water on the edge. That's a pretty typical way, I mean, a pretty typical place to see open water is right on the shoreline, but it's not looking like that has happened yet. There is some really heavy snowfall this year, so I'm actually not surprised that there's still quite a bit of insulation right here on the riverbank. So, yeah. That's what we got going on. It's again 47 degrees right now and a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous day. It's looking like we might get some rain in the forecast, so, so that should speed things up a bit. <laughs> Breaking some ice chunks. Nice. Okay, so um, Lulu, I think I answered your question. Um, you were saying, is there a guard now? Is there a guard there now, like a 24-7 guard? Um, there is no guard yet, but there will be once the clock is hooked up. Oh yeah, that's another very, very interesting thing to be aware of, which is that the clock tower operates, like this, the clock in here operates off of Alaska standard time which means that the clock is an hour behind our normal clocks right now and that's because of daylight saving time daylight savings time we go on daylight savings time but the tripod clock does not so that's kind of a quirky thing that you have to take into consideration that whatever your ticket guesses are, it will actually be like whatever the clock whatever the clock says will have to match what's on your ticket, but the like the local time is gonna be an hour later than what the clock time says what the clock actually says. So I know that sounds super confusing, but basically the clock tower is behind one hour from everyone else's watches. So that's kind of a weird thing that you have to take into account. But the cool thing is if you made your guesses in relation to the information on the pamphlet, 
because every year they have the pamphlet that lists all of the previous breakup times throughout the history of the ice classic those are all the clock times that's not the local time that it happens those are the clock times so if you made your guesses based off of those statistics then it you shouldn't have a problem matching up i mean of course the tripod never goes out <laughs> according to statistics anyway <laughs> it's all just a fun guess but um if you're worried if you got an hour off then i mean really don't worry about it it's all good it's gonna be great <laughs> so okay i'm also curious who here has been playing ice classic the longest if you have been submitting guesses for more than five years give me a hands up or like or a like or something Okay, so Lulu is asking again, so as long as our ticket matches the clock, it's a win. Correct. That is 100% correct. It doesn't matter what the local time is. It matters what the clock says. So, yep, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the clock time, which is Alaska Standard Time, not Daylight Savings Time. So, yep. Oh, Lulu, looks like you raised your hand, which means you've been playing for five years. Longer than five years. How long have you been playing? I'm curious. And anyone else? Um, if you've been playing for less than five years, to, uh, um, how about any newcomers? If this is your first year, then also give a shout out. Because that's always exciting when it's your first year, too. <laughs> nice. What does it say? Uh, I don't know. What does it say? Ice. Oh, ice. ice. Aw, cute. <laughs> Isn't that how you spell it? Yeah, it is. It was just backwards to me. So uh -huh. here, let's see. Ice. Yep. Cute. Okay, so Lulu says she doesn't know how long she's been playing. A long time. Well, that's fun. And Kim says, first timer. Yay! Welcome, Kim. Also, Amy, it looks like you raised your hand. Amy? Probably a first timer. Yep, my name is Amy, too. So, woot woot. <laughs> Hello to the Amys. Um, Sophie has been playing since the 80s. That's cool. How long is that? That's more than... Four, well, almost 40 years, depending on what time in the 80s. So that's definitely the longest one been playing. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Well, we will keep giving you updates as we see things moving along here. So far, it's, it's I mean, I'm not any master at this by any means but it's looking like it's gonna be at le it has to be at least another week out because the Ninana River has not even broken up yet and it's always a week to 10 days after the Ninana River breaks up that this river goes out so we're looking at um we're looking at at least 10 days here so We'll see how that pans out. Oh, Amy says, you've been playing for five years. Cool. So awesome. You're one of the five-year five year timers. <laughs> okay, so just to give you the context of where I was earlier this morning. So this is the road bridge that I was pointing out, which means that this right here is the mouth of the Ninana River. Okay, so the Ninana River goes up river just like this, that direction. This is the river that we're looking at to go out first. That one always has to go out first or else this Tanana River isn't going anywhere. So um, if you didn't catch that live, you can go back um, to earlier today. I did a whole live update on what's happening on the Ninana River 
and there is some open water so that's exciting and it's rotting quite a bit so we'll see what continues to happen out there um, we'll keep an eye on the Ninana River a lot this week because it seems like there's going to be more action out there. And then after after the Ninana River breaks up, that's when we're going to come out and be watching for major changes out here. Because like I said, it's going to be about 7 to 10 days until this one goes out after the Ninana. <laughs> so... Yep, people are coming out here to check it out, see what's going on in the river. It's a beautiful day, so exciting. And unless there's any more questions, then we'll call it good for now. I'm so happy that you all tuned in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. It's such a fun time of year. And um, if you're not aware yet... We have a YouTube channel as well, so there is a ton of information and fun videos on there that give a lot of, um, just a lot of quirky details about the Ninana Ice Classic. Go check us out and subscribe. We will always do live updates on this Facebook page, but we will also be doing live coverage and some extra footage on the Ninana Ice Classic fan page YouTube channel. So definitely um, go check that out and subscribe for all the updates there and you'll be totally looped in for the season. It's going to be an awesome ride and I can't wait. So bye guys. Thank you all. See you later. Woohoo!